hello guys it's another beautiful day here on my channel and you all are welcome well today i'm going to show you how i achieve these beautiful baby shoes so get all your equipment ready and let's get right in so what i'll be using is a carton from a shoe packaging reason i'm using this is because it's solid enough and cannot easily get destroyed with water thereafter what i'll do is get the measurements for the baby sandal i'm making now you can get these measurements with the baby shoe already you already have at home i'm using the inner part of one of the baby's shoes and uh, what i'm doing is getting two measurements for one side that's because the bottom part is going to be doubled yeah so you want to get two measurements for a single side so when all the measurements have been gotten onto the carton what i'm doing now is i'm going to carve that out now that i've carved that out accurately i'm going to file the edges so it's smooth enough you don't want to have rough edges with the finished product now i'm going for that to get the measurements for the bottom part firstly i'm going to get five centimeters for the width this is going to be adjusted later on and i'm going to go with 21 centimeters for the length yeah i'm going to into one but later on we're also going to adjust that now i'm adjusting the top part and i'm using a ruler here because i want to get very straight measurements so i'm going to carve out three centimeters and cut that out very neatly So three has been carved out and you see how short it is. Now I'm going to get 10 centimeters for each side, right? You're going to carve that to make sure okay, it's 10 centimeters. Though that's not the measurement I'll use, but you see the use of that later on. Now you also want to check to make sure everything, everything width is three centimeters. Now I'll go further to get the measurements transferred onto the material we'll use for this. For the width, I'm not going with 3 cm, I'm going with 7 cm, that's because it's going to go around 360, right? It's going to get everything embodied. Basically, what I'll do is just transfer the measurements of the inner part we earlier cut onto the material. Now, if you want to get the use and the detailed explanation of why I'm using this bag for the inner part of this sandal, there's another video up on my channel. You should look that up. Later on, what I just do is apply glue to the top part and set it aside so you can get a little bit dry. And then I'm going to apply glue to the bottom part and then get the jute thread onto that uh, a video pertaining to the application of the jute thread is also up on my channel i'll try to link that up so you can go watch when you're done applying the jute thread just want to insert the back into the material When all that is set, we'll move further to applying that onto the bottom part. Like I earlier said, this a detailed explanation of everything I'm doing here is up on a rap video on my channel. You can look that up. Now, the reason for which I had 10 centimeters was because part of it was going to the bottom. So here you want to get the measurement of your the circumference of your baby's feet. After which the, the allowance is going to go to the bottom part like so. And then you are going to get the other part applied as well. 
This is the reason for which we had two measurements taken. Furthermore, we're going to cut out elastics for the back part and then cut out an accurate amount of material to cover that upper sole. So I'm just going to sew that up and then flip the side. So when that has been flipped, I just want to iron it. I just want to flat iron it right. You want it to be looking smooth. Now you get your elastic inserted into that. When I'm done with that, I will just I make sure the elastic is well attached to the material. I don't want that moving around. And for accurate uh, elastic measurements, you should get uh, the baby's feet measured as well. Now I'm just going to attach all that to the finished work. You want to attach that to the top part like you just follow the steps on the video and while atta uh, attaching this you should make sure your threads are not visible and to do this you just make sure you are uh, putting your needle you shouldn't put your needle wire apart you just put them close to the like each stitch to come next to each stitch <laughs> Gosh, I don't know if you get what I'm saying, but I don't even know if I understand what I'm saying here, but to get your stitches invisible, right? You make sure you're putting a little close together. You don't want something showing or something too visible. Now you see what the back part looks like. Also, a point to note is that this uh, material is actually stretchy, right? It's actually stretchy. If not, then this is not how I should have done it. But since it's stretchy, it's straight and it just aligns with the elastic that is inserted into it. Now, for these flowers, this, the, the video I'm talking about also has uh, accurate explanations on how I got these flowers I'm using now. You can go and look that up. So you just get the flower onto the top part exactly as I'm doing right here. You just want to adjust everything and make sure everything is okay and fine. Now guys, when I'm done, this is what it looks like. And this is right it here on my baby's feet. Guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, you want to press the notification bell to get notified every time I post. Thank you for watching. Bye.